A jellyfish is a single, unisex animal with a jelly-like body and numerous tentacles. They are primitive creatures that have lived in the ocean for 600 million years and have no eyes, nose, ears, brain, or heart. It appears to swim in repetitive motions, but it's very weak, so it mostly just lets the current carry it along. Its main food is plankton and small fish. It grabs its prey with its tentacles, paralyzes it with its venomous sting, eats it in its mouth, and excretes it back into its mouth. Natural enemies include sunfish and sea turtles, which are said to be resistant to jellyfish venom, rendering stinging attacks ineffective. Jellyfish are prolific and ubiquitous in the ocean, making them an important part of the marine ecosystem. Jellyfish have a fluorescent protein in their bodies that gives them a mysterious glow. This protein is a valuable research material in the genetic engineering world. Thousands of jellyfish are caught off the coast of the United States each year and sent to laboratories. The jellyfish's venom is deadly to humans. Of all the sea creatures, jellyfish cause the most casualties. If a swarm of jellyfish shows up, the beach is immediately closed. Each jellyfish's venom varies in strength, with some causing little more than an itch. While others can sting and kill within five hours. Global warming and coastal pollution are driving subtropical jellyfish to South Korea's shores, and the country's fisheries industry has a lot to worry about. It may seem simple enough to catch them all and sell them as food, but out of hundreds of jellyfish species, only four are edible. There's a bird with a very impressive butt on its head, and its name is Hutuchidi. I'm sure many of you haven't heard of it. The Hututi is a small bird with a body length of 28 centimeters and a wingspan of 15 centimeters. It's brown in color, except for its long black bill. The feathers on the top of its head are large and long, allowing it to stand up freely. It sits on the ground and stands upright when alert or startled. In Korea, it is a summer bird that can be found in the central part of the country, but it is not very common. It breeds in trees in the wilderness, and occasionally on the roofs and under the eaves of inhabited houses.
The Hututi lays between 5 and 8 eggs from April to June, which the female incubates alone for between 10 and 20 days. The young leave the nest within 27 days of hatching. The Hututi looks as unique as its unique name. I'd love to meet them in Korea.